G'day guys, I'm going to be sharing my daughter's favourite toys as a three year old. So these are for the last six months, she's currently three years and three months. So from the start of the year to now, these have been her favourite toys. My hope with sharing these is that it will give you some ideas, because let's be real, it's mid year, I'm already starting to look at Christmas presents, see if I can pick up some things on sale, especially those end of financial year sales. Before we get into the video, comment below your kids age and the toys they love so that within our community we can keep offering ideas because every child is different and will have different interests. So please share below. Anyway, the first one I want to share with you is her train set. So Dave and I gave her a train set for Christmas. Um, it was a second hand one, but it was in excellent condition and she has loved it since. So it started off with a viaduct and a little bridge as well as a boat so you can put the train in the boat and travel around. So that's what we started off with. For her third birthday we actually had a Thomas theme so we got a few of these engines and we're just picking up more as we go along. The one we've struggled to find actually is James. So we are aiming to get the collection because she does love playing with them. So what she loves about doing this is she loves role playing out the books so Thomas gets stuck down the mine. That's one that she'll like to act out as well as Thomas goes fishing so this activity is great for role playing what she's read in books as well as being creative and imaginative this is the activity that she chooses if we have a special 10 minutes so when I say special 10 minutes it's undivided attention just for her not her brother so we normally do it when he's having a sleep and we play how she wants to play so it's not an occasion for me to talk about um, the colours of the engines or let's count them it's playing how she wants to play and this is her first choice every time with Dave and I is to play train so as parents what we love about this toy is it encourages independent play so so much social play with it in the morning so before seven o'clock during quiet time she'll go off during the day and play we've actually put an ottoman in her doorway so that her brother won't come in and pull up the tracks we've also made the decision to use it on the floor rather than a train table so that way she can change it up and do different track configurations and we're not put in a boundary by having it on a train table and as you can see it can get quite large we've also taken it out and just put it in the playroom so one big line I made that track it's a fantastic STEM activity using those engineering skills. We also love that it's an open-ended play so she's doing 90% of the work and the toy's doing 10% whereas if this train set had lights and sounds then it would really dictate the way to play whereas with this one it's completely open-ended and she can take it how she wants to and I can see us playing with this for years. The tracks for this Briar set is actually really good in that you can flip them over so you can turn the pieces to go in the opposite direction and they're not super snug so there's a bit of leeway there. Like I said we didn't have this massive set at the start we've just added to it and it's been a great way for family members who have been like what should we give her to be able to offer suggestions that we know the toy is going to get played with. The next favourite toy is soft toys so she's got a Winnie the Pooh and her purple dog which is called Wari and so these are her comforters at night she sleeps with them but also she uses them throughout the day and they are like babies so as you can see they're dressed in zippies that used to be her brother's they get their nappies changed like he gets his nappy changed so it's fantastic for role playing and I can see when she's playing she's processing what she's dealing with in real life she's acting out with her toys so she's also dealing with emotions with the toys when they're upset when they're cranky she will talk about that and she'll give them a cuddle if they're upset so these toys have been really helpful we've also taken her purple dog on the plane when we flew last year and it kept her entertained she was nurturing it. she was changing its nappy it also has a cradle she'll put it to sleep and she reads them books she wakes up in the morning before seven o'clock recently she's been sitting in bed and reading books to her toys the next toy she absolutely loves is books so before quiet time in the middle of the day she has two books in the bible story and it's the exactly the same at night time as part of the bedtime routine and she chooses what books we read so some of her favorite books at the moment are from nick bland so the very cranky bear the super bear um, she's just got the book Gruffalo and we're just reading that non-stop at the moment Winnie the Pooh is a favorite Thomas the Tank Engine and really the stories in Thomas the Tank Engine so these books are a bit older they were my brother's when he was a little boy these are the books that she really loves and when I say reading I mean she has memorized the story 
and so when she turns the page it prompts something and she will say what she remembers i should say too if she hasn't memorized the words then she'll just make up the story by looking at the pictures the other book she really likes is little two and the big bear race so if i can find these books i'll link them below for you the next toy she absolutely loves is figurines so we have a figurine container that's full of whales and hippos and sheep and wildebeest lots of different ones and she likes to use these in play they go in the tractor and trailer they'll go up and down the kinder board she just uses them with play how she wants to i also use them in activities so these bugs i've mentioned in a recent video that we got from kmart favorite activity to do with those is to put them in a muffin tin and then cover with tape and then release them so rescue the animals as well as investigating them with a magnifying glass and i just love they are such an open-ended toy and she can play with them in so many different Different ways depending on what she wants to do the next toy I want to share is jigsaw puzzles so for her third birthday she got this set of toy story puzzles and so that really kick-started jigsaw puzzles before that we've done some jigsaw puzzles that were like three pieces and two pieces and connecting those but this really instigated the jigsaw puzzles and there's also a car one that we borrowed from the toy library personally as a parent i actually wasn't sure how to start doing jigsaw puzzles when i'm doing a jigsaw puzzle i do the edges first and then work my way in However, that didn't seem to work for her. So what we focused on was their faces. So getting their eyes and connecting them together um, and with the cars, just focusing on the different cars in the puzzle and then connecting together. When we're doing puzzles, I really focus on the effort that it takes to do them and praise it for that. So well done on not giving up. You just kept trying. So that's what I do to encourage when we're doing puzzles. I think one of the reasons she really loves doing puzzles is that self-satisfaction when you have achieved the puzzle the smile on her face was just so precious when she did the 35 piece puzzle for the first time she was just so excited and wanted to do it again straight away the next one i've grouped together and she loves using do a dot markers watercolors as well as gluing <laughs> for her brother's birthday we had a hungry caterpillar theme so i made up some caterpillar dot activities for her to do and so do a dot markers um, are so much fun there are so many free printables that you can get on the internet and this is an activity she loves doing if you've watched some of my previous videos you know that i also do little activities with the do a dot markers as well so the next two i want to share are active play activities so the first one is a trampoline we gave this to her for christmas when she was just over 18 months um the idea was that it was something that we could do at home when i had a new baby i was pregnant at the time and it's been fantastic she loves jumping on it she loves um, getting on there with other people. We've had grandparents on there as well. It's something she likes to do every day. Now her brother's older, he's over 12 months. They like to go on it together. He'll kick around a ball and she walks or sits around. And we just have a rule in our family that at the moment she can't jump on the trampoline. When he's onto the trampoline, he's just too little. The next one is a scooter. We bought this with Christmas money and then being in isolation, we've used it heaps for our daily walk. We've taken it to wide open spaces and she's used it as well as now she's actually fantastic when we're going around town for our walk she stops before each driveway and it's been a real skill that she's learned during this isolation period so getting a scooter it's three wheels has been brilliant the next one i want to share too is the ikea kitchen so this has been awesome for role playing and my tip with this is is just move it around when we first bought this we had it downstairs in our playroom and she wasn't showing too much interest in it so we brought it up to our kitchen so it was right near our kitchen so she played with it there it's now back down in the playroom and i've also done a little bit of a diy on it in that i've painted some chalkboard paint on the back of it so we can use it as a grocery shop and do some shopping that way and i do have more plans for dramatic play you know like a pizza shop an ice cream shop a restaurant she likes to ask me what i'd like from her kitchen and so i can say sausages in bread or eggplant or fish and she'll make that and bring that back to me so it's really lovely seeing her role play out that cooking role that caring role and using it too for practical life skills it's a great height the next toy I want to share is another open-ended toy and it's that is magnetic tiles so I recommend these so much we absolutely love them it's on my Christmas list to buy a hundred piece set before Christmas so I'm just looking out at them to see if some sales pop up so with these she likes to make tiny houses for the animal figurines stations for the train sets I also love these because it's one of those toys as adults we enjoy using as well which I think is important when your kids want to play an activity with you it's great 
great if you can have fun as well. So like I said, I'm going to be getting more of these and they also have a car set, which we'll look at in the future as well. But I just want to get another hundred pieces first. The last two I want to share are two games. So the first one is Uno. We've been doing this for ages. So we've kept it really simple. We've kept it to color matching and number matching. And as we've gone on, we focus more on the wild cards. So that's a fun activity. I also think games are so important for turn taking, for patience, for learning to lose. The other game that she's loved um, so much so that we've hired it from the toy library and we've actually bought one for ourselves is the shopping list. So you get a shopping trolley or a shopping basket and you have your tiles turned over in your shopping list and you turn them over and you take turns going around until you fill up your shopping trolley. Please don't forget to share with other parents your child's favorite toys so that they can get some ideas as well. If you've got a baby, the video here is sharing my son's favorite toys from nine to 12 months. Thanks heaps for watching. Bye.